In May last year, the Danish parliament uh, endorsed the new strategy for Denmark's development cooperation called the right to a better life. During the past year since then, we've been working on defining and up unpacking what one of the most fund fundamental parts of the strategy, the human rights based approach, actually will mean for Denmark's development cooperation ahead. This e-byte is part of that work. The HRPA guidance and screening note is another part. The key message in our strategy, the right to a better life, is that poverty must be fought both with human rights and economic growth. All people have a right to a better life with equal opportunities. Going forward, we'll build on and continue a lot of the good work that has been carried out for many years in Denmark's development cooperation. But it also means that with this new approach, we'll take, a new way, take on a new way of working. An approach which is rights-based rather than needs-based. Your job will be to ensure that that change is reflected in our mode of operation. Denmark will work to promote all rights, both the civil and political rights, as well as the social, economic and cultural rights. Key is the empowerment of, of the poor to fight for their rights as active citizens, not as passive recipients. Therefore, the HRBA has a transformative potential. The ob objective is to contribute to changing the very structure that keep people in poverty. In that sense, partnerships are obviously vital. Denmark will seek to build strong partnerships, both in our priority countries, but also with the EU, other multilateral and regional development institutions, new and emerging development partners, civil society and private sector. Within our priority countries, we also have to work at building very strong partnerships with many different actors that are in position to promote the human rights. That goes both for duty bearers and rights holders. The human rights-based approach has to strike the right balance between pragmatism and realism, acknowledging that human rights can only be reached gradually. There, the starting point always has to be the country-specific one based on needs, the local context, and respect for human rights. I believe that Denmark and our embassies abroad are very, in a very good position to find partners and have a, a strategic and constructive dialogue with our partners based on our long-term relationship with our priority countries. But what does this approach actually mean for our daily work? It means that human rights will have to guide all parts of our development cooperation, starting with the policy dialogue, going on to the planning of the interventions we actually want to make in the different countries, and continuing to the concrete implementation of those interventions. Always building on partnerships and, and working and dialoguing with the partners we enter into. I hope that you'll find this e-byte interesting and useful in the way forward. We hope it will serve as a basic introduction uh, of how to do this and to provide you with the knowledge you need and when you need it. But this e-byte obviously cannot stand alone. We encourage you to supplement this course with further reading of the HRBA guidance note and with discussion with relevant colleagues in the HRBRA task force and the technical advisory services. We wish you all the best of luck with the implementation of this new approach. Thank you.